Alrighty then, hello and once again, good evening YouTube, welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 2. Last time we took this absolute work of art, Suzuki Cappuccino, to the win in the Cappuccino Cup in the one make Suzuki races, but today we're going to be doing something completely different, kind of, well yeah, very different actually, um, Convertible Car World. It has been a long time coming. <laughs> Since we were going to do this, um, I sold the Cobra, which was like the only convertible car that I owned up until this point. Like in the last couple of episodes, but the uh, let's go back to home for one quick second. The uh, race requires 246 horsepower, and this car has... Uh, 184. So, it's going to be very good. It's going to be very good in this first race. I don't know if we can win the second race in this. I'm not going to pretend like I know this. Plus, it's Tahiti Road. Now, I just remembered in the previous episode... This is a lot of really, like, big tracks. So, I just remembered in the previous episode that um, the, the car's speed limit was, like, 87 miles an hour. So, we're going to have to buy a fully custom transmission. Um, that was just a complete waste of money getting the super tight <laughs> gears for... What was that? 5,000? It was ridiculous. Yeah, 5500 when I could have just spent 10000 on this. I don't know what my brain was attempting to accomplish there. Quite frankly, I deserve to suck as bad as I have in this series so far, considering how much of a failure I am at managing money, managing vehicles, managing basically everything involving this game. But we're going to go to Convertible Cup Race number one. Tahiti Road is a good track. It's got the really wide stuff, and like since this is this is a small car, it shouldn't be able to just strafe through every single corner, and especially the um, accurate tips. We're gonna do we're gonna do five. Five is a pretty safe spot with the CRX, and since this car is actually a bit slower than the CRX, we might have wanted to go a bit wider, but we'll we'll see what happens. We will see what happens with this car. BMW, 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 BMW. Alright. Oh, we still got some pretty... Oh, and you can see that. We're, right, we're facing off against a Honda Beat. Okay, so maybe I was overestimating the competition for this race. Because we got a Lotus Elan, Honda Beat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that MX-5 Miata up there, that's a... I think that's a Miata up here. Yeah, that's an old Miata. Yeah. I might have overestimated the competition slightly here, but... If I did not get the gear ratios down good here, we will be in a bit of trouble. Because it's already peaking. And you know what? This is this is pretty good gear ratios for this track. We're probably going to want to extend it for Grindelwald just because... Oh! Just because that track has got like two really long straightaways. Now we're going to have to... Could you just go forward, please? Please just go forward. Oh no, I'm being passed by a cappuccino. Wow, what are the odds of that? They actually spawned a cappuccino in this race. Okay, well, time to learn how to drive. Or else I will get beat by a non-racing version of the car that I'm driving. All the upgrades in this thing, and I can't even beat the stock version of it. There we go. See, now we're driving off. See, we can maybe win Grindelwald with this car. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to go to the race with 600 horsepower and accomplish anything. Because just the Cobra, the AI driving the Cobra is really just stupid. I hate the AI driving the Cobra because it's so unfair. Like, okay, well, we're just murdering these guys. <laughs> oh, we're annihilating them. Oh, dear. Like I said, this car is very good. I don't know what we're going to be able to use this in, but it's really good. I don't know what, what race I'm going to be able to drive this car in besides this. But, like, I spent a lot of money on this car, so I kind of want to utilize it. It's a beast. Look at it just drive, dude. We can't beat the Cobra in this, but for, like, you know, other cars, like maybe a Lancia Stratus, for example, we could probably beat that. Stock Lancia Stratus. Um, stock De Lancia Delta. I don't know what other convertibles exist in this game. I guess I didn't even know that the Honda Beat was a convertible. I just thought that it was, you know, just a cute hardtop-looking thing. I guess I should just assume in this in these games that if a car has a different roof, colored roof compared to the rest of it, it's probably a convertible. And you know the Miatas, obviously, obviously a lot of those are going to be convertibles. But 
The only convertible I know about in this game is the fucking Cobra. It's the most obvious one, anyway. Seven grand and a new car. The first new car that we've won in a long time. I'm gonna save the game. No reason in particular. I'm just, I've just decided I'm gonna save the game after that race. That's a prudent move, I would say. And now it's time for Grindelwald. 345 is the horsepower they want for this, and I honestly think that we only need to bump it to 6 and maybe extend the first gear a little bit and we should be good for this race. 6 and first gear. We're going to send that all the way to the left. Now, I know some people are going to look at this and be like, but Kamikaze, why are you extending the first gear by so much? Well, I honestly don't know. Because the assumption that I have is that if I extend the first gear but don't change the gears after it, it'll still have the same acceleration capabilities that it would if the first gear was not Y. I just think that this is helping improve the top speed without sacrificing the uh, acceleration capabilities of the car. We're going to do 176. I just press triangle instead of X so I have to do this from the beginning. Oh my god! You know, um, I'm not holding the button down because pressing the button makes it go faster. So I'm basically pressing this button, like, over a hundred times right now. Okay, 170. Okay, yeah, save that. That better improve the car's performance, by the way. Okay, okay, here we go. Alright, let's go. Alright, what kind of competition are we going to have in this one? Okay, I see, is that a Stingray Corvette? Oh, no. I see, a, like, a Alpha up there. Is that an NSX? I think that's an NSX. Okay, so that's like a BMW or something. Or like an RX-7, maybe? No, that's, that's an MR2 that I thought was an NSX. That is a fucking Mercedes-Benz compressor, SLK compressor. That was an Alpha right here. And that is, I don't know, is that a TVR? It looks like a Mazda, it looked like a Mazda Speed MX-5 or a, that could be a fucking TVR Griffith 500. No! I can't do anything against that. Look at how much straight line speed it has compared to me. I mean, maybe with these racing tires we can do things in these old faithful corners. If I don't fucking die in them like that. Looking at me flat-footed this corner. That's that's not good. I mean, if I don't fucking rub up against the wall for the entire corner, we may be able to close in on this guy. I mean, we're close. We're close on pace. If this dude started in fifth instead of fucking first, we might have had a better shot at it. God, just look at him drive off, dude. That's so unfair. That's so unfair, dude. But, like, the fact that this car is so light, this is the same thing that the CRX had going for it, is that it's so light... That it just breezes through the corners, and the racing tires helps out a lot on that. Yes, we can absolutely win this race. If I could drive without running into the fucking wall for one lap. Nope, he's gone. Alright, well, so much for that. It was a, it was a nice thought while it, while it was, you know, in my brain. But, like, everyone else is just fine. But, no, this bitch, the fastest car on the track just had to start on the fu fucking front row. Obviously. That was incredibly necessary. Putting the fastest accelerating car right at the front of the field so that it had absolutely nothing to hold it up. That's cool. I can maybe hit this if I don't hit the fucking wall here. Get in there. Heavy on the brakes. Oh, if I just bought the sports brakes, we would have gotten that easily there. I'm in the lead. I just need to hang on to it for this corner here. I broke way too much, but we're in the lead. Okay, I just have to fend him off now. I just need to block. He's going to have a ridiculous speed boost rate, here, or, or not. Or I'm just going to get this on the first try. That's also an option. Sick! I told you this car is good. <laughs> I told you there's a reason that we made this car as good as it. That's a Dodge Concept car? What? Dodge Concept car, okay. Ew. It's nasty. I can see why it was a concept and never actually, you know, like, made. Because it's hideous. Alright. I actually was not expecting to win that race. Um, but we're, here we are. Here we are. Uh, $8,000 and a new car. 
Cool. I mean, if we're just gonna fucking on this episode, we're just gonna get every get, get every race in the first, you know, on the first try. I mean, cool. This is what I've been asking for for like ten episodes. Let's go. Okay, I'll admit, the odds of me doing this on the first try, even lower than the last one. <laughs> But I am good at Trial Mountain. There's a shortcut here. And there's a lot of, you know, tight corners where we can utilize the fact that this is a small, agile, fast, lightweight car with good tires. I don't know what we're facing off against. Probably a Cobra. I don't see a Cobra. I see a Shelby 1. That's a, a Tommy Kyra in front of me. Yeah, Shelby 1. There's a... I think that's a... That's a Speed 6. Tuscan Speed 6, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at them just drive. Yeah, that, that Cobra's all the way out in the front, too. Of course. They put the best car in the field on the front row. Again. Again. As expected. Car's turning too much now. I'm just flat-footing all these corners. They have to slow down so much because they're all in rear-wheel drive pieces of shit. Oh, the car sucks. Alright, well this first lap has been absolute dog shit. 4.3 seconds, that's not as big of a margin as, it, as you may think. We are going to red line right in the perfect spot for this car, so that's great. I'm just overestimating how much this car is going to be tight in these corners. I can pretty much flat foot most of the corners at this track. And the guys in front of me absolutely cannot do that. Oh my god. So I'm just driving the worst lap around Trial Mountain that I have ever had in my life playing this game. If i would just driven this competently, I'd probably with, be within striking distance to maybe get it on the second lap. But the Cobra is just going to be so fucking overpowered. It's not even fair. It's not even fair how overpowered the Cobra is. But, like, I can flat foot that and just be, like, right here with him. I'm just doing this just to see what I can get out of this. See, like, 5.4 right there. I just maintained through that sector. So if I'd done more sectors like that, I'd probably be in, like, fourth right now. This man's having a bad time, to say the least. He's gonna get right in front of me. That's a DB7. I own one of those. Oh, the Cobra just ate shit and is now in behind me. Oh, okay, that changes everything. That's a Griffith in front of me right there. That's a Griffith. And I, 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 I can't win this. Alright, so this is why we have the Chimera 5.0. Okay, we're not gonna win this race. Wow, these cars suck. Aston Martin DB7 Volant. 387 horsepower and a soft top. Why don't we take this one to the track and see if it can't not suck. Honestly, both attempts, cappuccino's better. I don't know what I can improve on with the cappuccino other than just not sucking on that first lap. But, like, it's just better. It's just better than both the TVR and the Aston Martin. Attempt number four at this race, and attempt number two in the Cappuccino. Let's hope that they spawn some more reasonable cars to have to deal with in this one. Alright, you want to tell, you want me to tell you why this is winnable? 1.6. I can make that up. If I just cleaned up the first lap just a little bit more, I'd probably be in the lead right now. But look at this. Look at these losers. Man off in the dirt. That's the fucking Viper again. Dodge concept, I guess. I guess it's not actually a Viper. Actually, it's the Dodge convertible concept. Mm. But, well, I passed it. There's the Cobra. The scariest car in this entire field. Just sitting there in front of me. You see, I do have a, a major disadvantage in the fact that this car can't fucking drive in a straight line. But I do have a major advantage about the fact that the car just, it just turns. It turns. I, I overestimate how much I need to slow down every single corner and it just turns. Uh, I hate this, hate this car game. No, I don't hate this car. This car is perfect. But I hate this game. Yeah, I definitely should have won that. I'm loading the game so it is in five days into the future for one bitch race. There's really no reason to do this. It's just kind of a status thing. You know, the, 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 the number counter in the days doesn't actually matter, except for in, like, Grand Trees before. But maybe it does matter in this, because in Grand Trees before, there's, like, a week in the game where there's a bunch of cars in the used car dealerships where you can only buy them once, and then they never appear again. That might be the case in this game, but I don't actually know, because the used car dealerships are difficult to understand in this game. 
So let's go back to this fucking race and do it again. Actually, you know what? No, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, no. There is still one singular ace up my sleeve if I don't already have it, and that is the Super Softs. When in doubt, throw Super Softs at it. Please tell me that I did not buy Super Softs. Come on, give this to me. Give this to me, game. Oh boy. Oh. We just won this race. Attempt number five at this race. But as far as the game's concerned, it's only attempt number one. Oh my god, they put a Viper GTS in this race. Alright, well, that's gonna be a bit difficult to deal with. We got a Cobra, a Viper GTS. I'm guessing that's an Aston Martin up there. Yeah, they're fast, they're speedy, but I got super soft, so I don't even want to hear shit. It took an entire lap for me to catch up this close last time. Now I'm making the pass on dead last on lap one. Oh! Oh, it goes! It also strafes. It also wiggles all over the place. Two seconds. I can make that up. Easy. Oh, if it would just go in a straight line when I want it to go in a straight line. Oh, oh dude. It's so fast. Oh. Oh. See, the thing is, is if we were doing an endurance race, you know, we'd have the, the, the medium tires on and I wouldn't be up here challenging for the win at the moment. But these guys are going to wear through their tires so fast, they're going to get ruined. Oh, 1.4. They're going to ruin their tires. And, like, my car is so light that I'm not even going to be wearing out mine. I'm in the air. This is not good. But we're fine for some reason. That, for no reasonable person would assume that after that, I would be okay. But here we are. I was hoping we would maybe be in position to be able to take the shortcut for the win. Viper is just, mm, no, no, you're not beating me. Okay, maybe you are beating me. Maybe everyone's beating me because this game sucks. All right, so, controller settings. We're gonna turn on analog mode. Hopefully, this does not make it so that I have to use the stupid ass right stick to accelerate like in Test Drive 5. If I can just, you know, control my car without 100% steering input, I don't even know actually come to think of it I don't even know if putting this um, putting this on is gonna fix anything because maybe now now I can now I can use the analog stick but it's still gonna have a hundred percent controller input isn't it anyway hopefully oh no they spawned a TVR in this race we can beat everything except for that TVR apparently apparently they made TVR finally made a car worth a shit okay oh no hang on Oh, jeez, this changes everything. This is not 100% steering input on this, on the stick. Yo, we're in business. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, I don't know how much of this race I'm going to put in, but I am already like 200% more confident in my driving now that I have this, uh, now that I have the analog sticks going on, because, yeah. Yeah, I, I am now, like, I can I can actually drive the cars now. Oh, they're both Tuscan Speed 6s. Yeah, I just, it's just the Tuscan Speed 6. That's all I gotta beat. That's it, everything else is just child's play. Especially now that I have this controller stuff, I can actually, you know, do the thing. I'm driving with 100% more confidence now. <laughs> let me just say, dude, let me just say, I should have done this months ago. <laughs> I should've just fucking changed this input just months ago, dude. Why didn't I just change it? I didn't know it existed, that's why. Why didn't I change it when someone told me that it did exist? Why did I have to, you know, like, do, was it for my pride? What pride? My pride in just sucking? Okay, ride height. Um, we're gonna lower the ride height because I assume that's gonna help it, you know, do better driving things. I have no reason to believe that. But I believe it regardless. So we're going to lower the ride height just a little bit. And we're going to drive this entire race on the analog stick and hope that they don't spawn a, speed, a Tuscan Speed 6. They spawned it to... No, that's not a Tuscan. That's a, that's, a, that's a different tree TVR. There's a DB9. That sucks. Shelby Cobra can't win this. We've already established that. As long as that car up over in the front there is not a Tuscan Speed 6, we can win this. 
and we're just going to move into second right here, not get flung into the wall. We're not going to have the straight line speed, can get the draft though. Get that slipstream, 1.7 seconds, I can make that up. Easy. You know, if you'd bump draft me instead of just passing me, this would be a lot easier. But no, oh no, I gotta go by and be really fast. Oh, I'm so good. I'm a TVR Griffith. I have, I'm overpowered for no reason. Huh. This game sucks. I can win this goddamn race. Fuck you. I don't know what else I can do. I don't. I don't. I feel like I've exhausted all options at this point. Okay, super softs again. And, um, did I get the brake thing? Brakes. I did not buy brakes. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. It'll probably make a difference, but will it be the difference? I'm gonna have to brake, you know, later into the corner now. I have to remember that. Did I buy a, a fully customizable in this universe? Yes. What else can I get in here? I got the carbon drive shaft, I got the twin plate clutch, I got the flywheel. Four professionals. Limited slip. I've never understood how limited slip works. We're just gonna buy the middle one and hope that it makes a difference. I don't know, dude. I've never understood limited slip. Whatever, we'll give it a shot. I mean, just, if they don't spawn the Tuscan Speed 6, we can win this. I'm not even convinced the Tuscan fucking Speed 6 is a fucking convertible. But then again, Gran Turismo has cheated in the past, so I don't care. Alright, that's definitely a Tuscan Speed 6 starting next to me. Cool. Oh, they're dying! Oh, they're dying! I'm dying! Okay, that's big. That's big. This might be my only chance, because they just happened to die in that section, which they have not done in any attempt thus far. Oh, I hate this fucking corner. Go! I don't fucking know, dude. This sucks. I want this, dude. I want it real badly. They spawned the speed six on the fucking front row. Never mind. We're not getting it this time. Alright, that was the worst attempt thus far. This honestly is the best chance that I have of winning this. Because I can't fucking buy a fucking Tuscan Speed 6. Because you literally can't. It's literally not for sale. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to widen the gear ratios, but we're going to shorten the fifth gear. So it's as short as it is on the uh, on 6. So on 6, it's 7.759. So let's widen that, and then we'll push this to 7. We are not going to be able to get to 7, I don't think. 712, that's close enough. And let's just lower the ride height as far as we can. Cause you have to fucking assume that the lower ride height's gonna make it turn better. You have to fucking assume that. I don't know if there's any, like, Gran Turismo 2 setup guides out there. But like, that's just what I assume. <laughs> okay, they didn't spawn the Speed 6 it looks like. It's like, comes in the singular color. So if there's ever been a shot that I've had at this win, it's right here. Okay, let's go. in the lead. That's the first. Hmm. Okay, well, just don't fucking choke it away then. It's all I gotta do. All I gotta do, just don't choke this fucking shit away. We're in the lead. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Oh, God, my chest hurts. Hello, friend. Please be, please be kind. I can get through this corner way better than you, bitch. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I'm shaking. 
No. Don't you fucking dare. Turn, turn, turn. I'm on the lead. Just be smart through here. I've got it. I fucking got it, dude. I just gotta survive this final corner. And I've got it! Oh my god, we won. Oh. 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 We beat the Shelby Series 1. <laughs> they didn't spawn the Tuscan Speed 6. That's the reason I won. Oh. 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 Why'd you have to go? Oh, my chest. My heart hurts. Oh, man. I need to do some cardio, dude. Fuck. Yeah, you can see right there. This race was not perfect. That could have been better, but fuck me, dude. Whew. Man. That was painful, dude. That that hurt. That was a uh, that was about 40 minutes that it took to get this race over with, but like we need like this like right here. Like yeah, they all just died here. Griffith all over the place. Hopefully we get a good camera angle here. Ish. That was almost a good camera angle. Yeah, you just... They just decided to die at the best possible moment. And they all died in unison. It was great. Alright, well hats off once again to whoever told me I could use the analog stick. Because holy shit, I could not have won that race without the use of the analog sticks. But we've had, we've gotten three new cars unlocked. I know I've already shown them because I was changing cars and stuff, but man, god dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. We just beat Shelby Series 1, Dodge Viper, TVR, Griffith 500, and a Suzuki Cappuccino. That's, I mean, that's, that's what this game's all about, man. That's how this game, that's how it's done. It took 40 minutes of just pure unadulterated, I don't give a fuck, I'm winning in this fucking car. That kind of energy, that's all it took. Oh, okay, let's find out what cars I've won. I've, I already know what the other two cars that I've won are, but I'm wondering what this final car is. Please be good. Concept Car LM Edition. By whom? Oh, it's the Dodge Viper Concept Car. Ah. This car that gave me not that much trouble, actually. I pretty much destroyed it in every attempt, but hey, now we got the, uh... LM edition, which I don't, I doubt exists, or exist in. We also got a Toyota MRS show version. Looky there. I think there's an MRS race in the uh, Toyota One makes. And we also got an MX-5 Miata A-Spec. Um, well, that's, that yeah, looks good. Alright. I thought we already won this. I'll be honest, pretty sure we already won that, but I'm guessing there's Mazda Miata One make race and so, but in any case, Thank y'all so much for watching this episode of Grand Turismo 2. Oh. It's so good, dude. This, this, just, just put it on the screen, guys. Put it, put it on the fucking screen. It deserves to have a curtain call. There it is. This work of art, dude. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ah, where's my rape whistle?